Number 99. Which of the following molecules have dipole moments? And then we have CS2. So does CS2 have a dipole moment? Well, let's see. Now, what specifically is a dipole moment? Now, a dipole moment just means that you have a unequal distribution of charge in this whole entire molecule. And if you have a dipole moment, we always know that dipole moments go with polar molecules. So if you have a dipole moment, you know that the molecule in question has to be polar. And think back to SNAP, S-N-A-P. If your molecule is symmetrical, it is nonpolar. But if there is any sort of asymmetry, that's a polar molecule. Now, in order to see this, we can kind of visualize what CS2 looks like, but I would take a step back, take a couple of seconds, and draw out the Lewis structure. I promise you, with visualization, especially with Lewis structures, um, there's going to be tons of answers that you can get. So, we have carbon and sulfur, less electronegative element, always in the middle, so carbon is in the middle. Carbon is less electronegative than sulfur, and the two sulfurs are around the carbon. Now, we use our uh, lone electrons, right? And there's tons of videos on this channel just designated to drawing Lewis structures. So if you do need a recap, you could always go there. But as of right now, if you want to try it out, you could pause the video and see if you can draw CS2. Now CS2, since carbon needs that um, octet rule, it needs a double bond on both sides because carbon only has four valence electrons. One, two, three, four. And then for sulfur, sulfur needs the octet as well, so it needs the lone pairs. And now everybody's happy. Did you get this? Hopefully you did. Let me know in the comments. But now we just have to snap it out, right? Snap it out. Symmetry is nonpolar. Asymmetrical is polar. And remember, the polar ones have the dipole moment. The nonpolar, there is no dipole moment, which means that everything is symmetrical. There's no, you know, pull and tug from one side. And you could always take it straight from that central atom. The central atom here is carbon. If you split this right down the middle, doo -doo -doo, you check the left and the right sides. Is the left side the same as the right side? For sure it is, right? I see a double bond with a sulfur with two uh, pairs of electrons. I see a double bond with sulfur with two pairs of electrons. So the left checks out with the right. And just make sure that that center atom, does it have any lone pairs? Because that could be the tricky one. If your center atom has lone pairs, it's automatically polar. So center atom has the dots. So that's another kind of trick to know whether you're in polar territory. But as far as carbon goes, uh, carbon doesn't have any dots in the center. So this is completely symmetrical. If you have symmetry, you are identical on one side and the other, and your center atom does not have any lone pairs. Since it's symmetrical, we know that this is nonpolar. And nonpolar molecules, they do not have a dipole moment. Only polar ones have dipole. So would CS2 have a dipole moment? Nope. No dipole moment here. Everything is nice and even, um, and there's no pull of electrons from one, you know, one side of the molecule to the other. And that's it. Let's box it in and call it a video. What do you think? Thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And keep with the videos. That's how you get better with any class. Practice, practice, practice. So... If you just keep practicing, I know that you guys are going to succeed. So stick with the videos. You guys got this. And a study buddy, 24-7. I mean, what could get better than that? But um, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.